hi guys happy new year so i know that new year's has passed and christmas is over <laughs> but this is a video that i kind of wanted to make and i just didn't get around to editing it so i'm just gonna make it anyway um and i just want to show you what i got my kids for christmas this year some people have asked me and um, i think this is a fun video because I always love shopping for gifts for my kids. I'm always looking for things that I can get them. Um, at some point, I transitioned from a gift receiver into a gift giver, and I think that's when I had kids. Uh, when I was younger, Christmas was all about receiving gifts. I always knew that it was way more virtuous to say it's better to give than to receive and that it was really important to donate and volunteer and give back. But in my heart of hearts, I was a lot more excited about receiving gifts than I was about giving them for some reason. And I didn't really truly embrace that concept until I was a little bit older. When I was younger, I would wake up before the sun came up and I would also wake up my brother and sister my parents probably had just gone to bed and we would thunder down the stairs, look at everything in our stockings. We were so excited and probably by the time my parents woke up, we would have already opened up all of our presents. So I'm kind of embarrassed to say that, but that's what I did as a child. Now as like a mom, I make my kids wait until... Um, my husband and I are awake because we love to see the expression on their faces when they open their gifts and we love to share in that excitement so I think it's really important for everyone in the family to open gifts together and so we make our kids wait we don't do what I did so I'm pretty old by the time you reach my age you have so much stuff and you don't really need anything else like anything that you buy is sort of excessive or extra anyway that's how it seems to me and also as an adult i have a lot more disposable income than i did as a child so if there's something that i want i'll just buy it myself and i'm probably not going to wait until christmas to buy it for myself or ask for it for a gift um, that's just how adults are i think and um when you're a child you know you're kind of dependent on your parents for those things so it's probably a lot more fun to receive gifts when you're younger just because you just can't have everything that you want. When I was single, before I had kids, I used to love shopping for myself. I would always buy clothes and makeup and I'd have my eye on the latest designer handbag or the latest gadget. Um, but now I don't really want those things anymore. I, It's not fun for me to buy them and um, I realize that it's much more gratifying to buy something for my kids. I don't know why. I don't know, I don't know if it's because I'm old or because I have everything I need or more mature. I, I don't know what it is. But at some point, I just changed. And it's so much more fun for me to buy things for my kids. And I don't want to spoil them. So throughout the year, I try not to buy them everything they want. I do buy them a lot of stuff. But... I try not to, to spoil them, um, but Christmas is really fun because it gives me an opportunity to just buy what I want to buy for my kids and buy them things that they love without having to feel guilty for spoiling them. Um, and so throughout the year, I'll look at different things and maybe they're too expensive or maybe... You know, it doesn't really seem like my kids need those things. I'll wait until Christmas to buy them. Um, and so it's it's just so much fun to get those things. And also, like, I, I try to keep a running list so that when Black Friday rolls around, I'll have ready those items that, that I want to get my kids for Christmas. And they always they're always discounted a little bit so I can save a little money that way. Um, so that that's what I do.
So I didn't take a close up of this, but one of the things I did this year was um, I wrapped all of my presents in craft paper and I tied them with a ribbon that I can reuse year after year. So it's like a little bit of a more high quality ribbon. And then I got these calligraphy name stamps with both of my girls' names on them and I stamped them on all the presents. So it was really fun and satisfying to use these stamps. And then hopefully when they get older, they can use them for whatever they want. It's always fun to have a stamp with your name on it, right? This is another thing we do every year, the elf on the shelf. The elf shows up after Thanksgiving and moves around the house magically. And this year we had some new friends and a little fairy door appeared in our living room. So it was so magical and so fun. The mailbox and the door open up and the door seems like it leads to our wall, but I think that it actually leads to Santa's workshop if you're an elf. This is something that my mom got for me and there are these cute little plant pots. Love the packaging. I think it's so adorable. And they just have these little faces. I love the one whose legs hang off of the side of the shelf. I put this one on top of my vanity and then the other one is downstairs in our little cafe. And I also want to give a shout out to my friend Jen who owns a company named Stargazer Design. She gifted the kids these cute bok choy sweatshirts and they had their name embroidered so make sure to check them out. I'll link them in the description box below. And then Sienna gave me this coupon book which I actually requested. Um, they were coupons to, you know, get a hug. Well, I wanted some coupons to have the kitchen clean and do the dishes, like chores. Um, but she came up with these things that she thought I would like, like alone time, um, which is time by myself. Um, so this was really nice. And then Sienna also made this cute little pinch pot in her class. And I, I love this. This is so perfect for me as a gift. And here are a couple of gifts from my husband. When I ask him for something, he always goes all out. So I just wanted this waffle knit Esther Bunny top. And I saw this on Instagram. <laughs> the Instagram ads always get me. So I just asked him for this one top um, because I thought it was so cute. And then he went all out and he decided to get me uh, the matching sweats as well. These are by Sammy Ryan. And, and then he also got me this sweatshirt. and. I like the pastel colors, but I didn't really, like, I felt like this is kind of juvenile for me, but you know what? This ended up being my favorite thing out of all of them because it's so cozy and warm and soft and comfortable inside. Um, so I've been wearing this one a lot. My kids received a couple of these Tokidoki Hello Kitty blind boxes in their stocking from Santa this year. And so we had a lot of fun opening them. I didn't receive any in my stocking from Santa, but Sienna was so sweet she gave me one of hers. And then my birthday is shortly after Christmas and my husband ordered this huge box of all these different Tokidoki figures. Some of them were the Unicornos and Donatella and her sweet friends. And so I thought I would just do a little haul and show you what we got in some of these boxes because even though it's not Christmas, I'm a Christmas baby and uh, it kind of fits in with the kawaii theme. I think my husband got these for me to open, but I decided to share them with my kids, so we each took turns opening um, different blind bags, and it was really fun. Yes! My, my luck, knock, knock, knock on wood, thing help. Your other one. So many. I gave you this one because I knew you really liked it. Really good ones, huh? Yeah, I did. You know what? I did this one while I got something. I'm really hoping to get this one. Now, I'm really hoping to get this one. Cherry dragon? Yeah, cherry dragon. Taste sounds like a real one. Oh, we got flamingo! Oh, that's so cute. Oh my god! That one's super cute. I kind of want to open the Cinderella one. I'm not sure why I love Tokidoki so much, but. I just think these unicorns are so adorable. I think the eyes are really cute. Well, not this one. This eye is a little scary on the unicorn. I wish they would have filled it in. Um, makes it look kind of evil, but 
I just the characters are just so likable and so cute and the designs are so much fun um, some of them I like more than others but generally like you're always gonna get a cute unicorn or a cute little minifigure in your box the only thing is they're kind of expensive and they're also labeled as not toys which kind of bothers me I wish they would um, make these toys because my kids play with them like they're toys my, like after we got all these new unicorns, playing unicornos was their favorite game for a while. And last but not least, I wanted to share this really amazing advent calendar that I received for free from YesStyle. And you guys, this is still available on the YesStyle website if you want to get it. It's so much fun to open this. I opened everything in one day. just so I could film the video but I love the design on this box and I think this is such a great deal I think it's about $189 but you get so many products I think it's totally worth it I didn't pay for this I did get it for free but I definitely recommend it I liked everything that I received in this box
That's all I have for now. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and as always I want to give a big thank you and shout out to my Patreons and channel members. Thank you guys so much for your support. You really helped me to keep this channel going and I really appreciate it. I'll talk to you next time. Bye!